Have you ever been excited to work on your Android project, only to be stopped in your tracks by an error message? It can be incredibly frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're tackling a common Gradle issue that many developers face. I totally get it. You update your tools, and suddenly, things that used to work perfectly start throwing errors. You're not alone in this. Many developers have faced similar challenges when upgrading their Android Studio or Gradle versions. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently updated their Android Studio to version 3.0 Canary 1 and encountered an error after changing their Gradle version. They received a message stating that the version of Gradle they were using does not support the four tasks method. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So what's going on here? The error message indicates that the Gradle version 3.3 does not support the four tasks method on build action executor. This feature is only available in Gradle version 3.5 and later. Understanding this will help us find a solution. And stick around. I have a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. To resolve the issue with the Gradle version, the user should first update the Gradle version in their project. Since the error indicates that the four tasks method is not supported in Gradle 3.3, the user needs to upgrade to at least Gradle 3.5. Next, the user should ensure that the Android Gradle plugin version is compatible with the updated Gradle version. The user can change the plugin version in the build.gradle file. After updating the versions, the user should sync the project with Gradle files. This step is crucial to apply the changes made in the configuration files. Finally, the user should clean and rebuild the project to ensure that all changes are applied correctly. This can help eliminate any residual issues from previous builds. Fun fact, did you know that Gradle was first released in 2007? It has come a long way since then, evolving to meet the needs of developers everywhere. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user involves updating the Gradle version. They resolve the issue by changing the distribution URL in the Gradle's wrapper.properties file to point to Gradle version 4.1. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. one. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests updating your top-level Gradle file. They recommend changing the Gradle version to 3.0.0 Alpha 9 and adding the Google Maven repository to your build script and all projects sections. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests two ways to resolve the Gradle version issue. First, you can update your Gradle version to 3.5 or later. Second, you can configure your Gradle wrapper to version 4.1. Both methods are effective. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative solution provided by another user is to change the Gradle distribution URL in your project. They suggest updating it to 4.1 by replacing the existing URL with distribution URL with the hitch to gradle.org slash distributions is gradle .zip. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative solution provided by another user involves updating your Gradle version. First, open the Gradle wrapper.properties file. Then replace the current distribution URL for Gradle 3.3 with the URL for Gradle 4.1. Finally, sync your project to apply the changes. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always check the compatibility of your Gradle version with the features you intend to use. This simple step can save you a lot of headaches down the road. And there you have it. By updating your Gradle version, you should be able to resolve that pesky error. Remember, keeping your tools up to date is key to smooth development. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video where we tackle another common issue.